Welcome to Practice Better. In this tutorial, we will go over setting up a custom booking page. To set up a custom booking page, you will first navigate to the gear icon and then select share my link. Underneath the public booking pages section, you would select add page right here. If you're a team owner of a team plan, you'll have the option of creating an individual or team custom booking page. Let's look at an existing booking page that I've created. You can choose a cover image for your page here and provide a label, a page title, and a welcome message. Your label will remain private to you and is meant to help you easily identify your custom page from a list of your created pages. Under the product description pick list, you can see how your product descriptions are, are presented to clients. You can choose to either hide descriptions, display in full, or display as excerpts. The excerpts option will clip descriptions after a certain length and also give the clients the options to expand it if they're interested in reading more information. If you would like clients to be redirected to a new page after their booking is complete, you can enter a redirect URL here as well. You also have the option to link this as your default booking page. If this setting is enabled, all clients requesting sessions and offerings from the client portal will be directed to this page. By default, we will allow your clients to request in-person sessions from any client-facing locations you have set up in your company profile. If you'd like to restrict which locations your clients can book from on the booking page, enable the option to limit in-person sessions to specific locations. Then, you can select which locations you want available from the pick list. You can also restrict your booking page to clients based on their tags. By enabling the option to allow clients with specific tags to view this page, Clients with specific tags will only be able to see this page when requesting products from the client portal. You can select which tags will have access to this page. If you'd like to restrict the page to clients who have more than one tag, you can adjust the option to match clients who have all of the selected tags here. Keep in mind that any booking pages with tag-based restrictions will always supersede the default bookings page. If a client has the matching tags to a tag-based page, they will see that page instead of your default page when booking from the client portal. The default page will only be displayed to clients booking from the client portal if no tag-based booking pages match the client's available tags. Once you've confirmed your settings for this page, you can click the red fast action button to add a category or product. If you'd like to add products directly to the page without categories, you would select the add products option. If you'd like to select categories, you would select the add category option. Categories will be useful if you'd like to organize your products under separate headers, such as showing existing categories with services. The Add Category window will appear, and here you can add a name and option description and select Done. As I've already created a category, I will select Nevermind. Once you've added a category, you can then add services, packages, and programs underneath it by selecting Add Products here. You can also choose to add bookmarks to your booking page. Bookmarks will appear to the left of your products on the booking page and can be used to add links to things such as your website. Once everything is finalized, you can select Save Changes and finish customizing your booking page. To share your booking page with your clients or link it from your website, you would select Get Link next to the booking page you just created. If you'd like to keep your clients on your website when they book, you can embed a widget for your booking page on your site. You would scroll down to create a booking widget here, and under the drop-down menu for services, packages, and programs to display, you would select the booking page you'd like to model your widget after. You would then copy the HTML and embed it on your website. This concludes the video on how to set up a custom booking page.